All right, welcome, and now it is a look at the Dow and the S&P 500 for the weekend here, September 20th, 2008, where we definitely have uh, some volatility on the markets. Some people want to claim that this is the bottom, that we put in the bottom on Thursday. Others say, well, let's not be too quick to make that um, assumption. And uh, take a look at the video that I did on the VIX, because the VIX shows that... Uh, we may or may not have, you know, really made that final spike. So, it, you know, the jury is out. And uh, by continuing to watch this video, you agree that this is strictly for educational and entertainment purposes. There's no trading advice being given here. Strictly um, my look at the market. Uh, trading involves significant risk of financial loss. Active investing involves significant risk of financial loss. Only trade with money you can afford to lose. Please do your due diligence. So let's go to the charts real quick, and we're going to look at the indexes now, the S&P 500 uh, and the uh, Dow 30 and the industrials. Now, when we're looking at the S&P 500, you have the actual S&P 500 that's traded on the Chicago Board of Trade, well, now Chicago Mark, everything's getting merged, we're getting globalized, maybe there is a plan here, right? Um, but you also have the proxy, which is the SPY, which is the spiders. And uh, the spiders, what that does is allow us to take a look at the volume, whereas the volume uh, for the for the futures is a little bit uh, not not as accessible for the general public. Let's so I'm just going to be using here the spiders so we can look at the volume, <coughs> and uh, we've got a downtrend here that's uh, pretty well in place here. You can see that. Uh, you know, it's just a downward slant. And this is a weekly chart. We're going all the way back now, 2005. Let me go ahead and actually bring a little bit more in focus here where we're at. Uh, you're starting to see a little bit more of the iceberg, so to speak. And let me get rid of these, the, the downtrend as I bring a little bit more into focus where we've come from back from the bubble of 2000. And so here we are. It's it's definitely important to take a look at the fact that you know we've made a you know very nice double top here. We had a very similar fractal formation on the uh, on the S and P 500. If you take a look, you can see that. Notice how for fractals you have repeating formations, formations repeating, and so notice that this pattern right here has very good similarities to the patterns inside here. Let me go ahead and just maybe uh, I'll draw a couple of similarities here. Notice that here we have a nice big long run up. Can I do that? No? Okay. I wanted to go ahead and uh, draw some boxes here on the screen but basically I'll just draw some arrows. Notice here that we have a little double spike right here. Notice we have a little double spike right here. Notice then we do a nice long run up. You see this run up right here? We have a nice long run up and then a, a pullback here. So here's our pullback and here's another pullback. Then we have uh, kind of like another double top up here. In this case we had three spikes. One spike, two spike, three spikes here. We had one spike, two spike, three spike. Okay. We had a, a violent uh, spike down right here, where here it was a little bit more controlled, and then we took a nice slide down with a spike down right here. Notice a slide down with a spike down right here. See that? There's a spike there. Here a spike, there a spike, everywhere a spike. Then we've got a double spike that we did down here with really triple spike, if you want to count one, two, and three, which made a, a bottom right here. And you can actually see right here, one, two. So in this case, back in 2001, we had two, two double bottoms. In this case, we had the double bottom. Notice also then the spike down right here, and the spike down right here, with another top right there, which is similar to this top right here. And now, a, a, a move down with a spike right here. Now, if we're going to be repeating this pattern, okay, 
we could potentially be right here if these chart patterns are going to repeat themselves. I think I've I've kind of demonstrated that on this chart of the spiders we have a very similar fractal pattern. So there's a lot of good good reasons to watch this video here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and erase all those lines here. But the concept is that we could be, and you can rewind the video, we could be at this at this spike right here. Now notice the volume. Huge, huge volume dwarfing anything that we've seen before in the past. Um, another horrendous issue is when you have chart patterns like this, even though this is a weekly chart with so much data compressed, it's really a monthly chart. But we've got potential to go, you know, all the way down here. <laughs>